Okay, we're going to continue this section. I think it's section D um, with Sokotoa, and we're just going to do some basic right triangle trig word problems. Um, so here, a biologist wants to know the width W of a river in order to properly set instruments for studying the pollutants in the water. From point A, the biologist walks downstream 70 feet and sights to point C from this sighting. It is determined that theta is 54 degrees. How wide is the river? Okay, so first thing that we don't have um, sketched out for us in the triangle is this 70 feet, that he walks downstream 70 feet. So from point A, he goes downstream, downstream and finds point C. So Oh, and sites to point C. Okay, so let's call this vertex since it's opposite side W. We're going to call that vertex W. Okay, but from point A, he walks downstream. So this is your 70 feet. Okay, we're looking for the width of the river. So from the 54 degree angle, that side is the opposite side. Okay, and then next to this angle, is the adjacent side that we know is 70. So it, um, of your three trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, opposite and adjacent, that is tangent. So we would set up tangent of 54 degrees equals opposite W over 70 um, for the adjacent side. Okay, so now you are solving this. You can either cross multiply Okay, or you can multiply both sides by 70. It's really the same thing. You, it, it accomplishes the same thing. I just tend to cross multiply. So this would be 70, um, 70 times tangent of 54 degrees equals W times one. So that just equals W. Okay, so you can multiply in your calculator. Um, if you're using your calculator app, don't forget you're going to want to make sure that you are in the degree setting um, or your answer is not going to make sense to you. Okay, so multiply this out and you should get 96.3 feet is the width of the river. Okay, this next one, a 12 meter flagpole casts a 12 meter shadow. Find theta, the angle of elevation to <coughs> Excuse me. Angle of elevation to the sun. Okay, so if you sit back and look at this triangle for a second, it's isosceles. If this is an isosceles right triangle, then you have a 45 degree angle here. So um, your angle of elevation is 45 degrees. Okay, um, let's change one of the measurements. Um, just so we can set this up. And use one of our trig functions. Okay, so how about if we just change this one to, let's just go eight meters, let's say. Okay, so from the um, theta, uh, to 12 meters, this is opposite side again. And then the eight meters would be the adjacent side because of course this side is your hypotenuse. Okay, so opposite and adjacent, that's tangent again. So this time we don't know the angle measure. So tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Um, so 12 eighths. If you want to reduce the 12 eighths, you can. You don't have to. Uh, to work backwards to find the angle measure, you're going to go inverse tangent of 12 eighths. And theta is going to be, oh, hold on a second. I did not write this one down in my notes. Okay, so inverse tangent of 12 eighths, 56.3 degrees. Okay, so 
three degrees. Okay. All right, one more here. Um, a ramp 17 and a half feet in length rises to a loading platform that is three and a half feet off the ground. Find the angle theta that the ramp makes with the ground. Okay, so again, we have our angle measure. This is our opposite side. And this time we know the hypotenuse. Okay, so sine, op, uh, cosine, or tangent, it's going to be sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So again, you're going to need to go inverse sine. of 3.5 divided by 17.5. Again, your calculator doesn't care if it's a complex fraction. Um, and you will get 11.5 degrees for theta. Okay, before I let you guys go today, I'm going to just do another one real quick. Okay, so let's say you have set up um, um, a statement like this. Okay, so I wanted to contrast this one with this first one that we did. So here with the tangent of 54, we were able to just multiply by 70, and then that gave you your angle measure. But if your variable's on the bottom, you're going to end up dividing. So here, if you kind of think cross multiply again, 4 times 1 and x times cosine of 18. So x times cosine of 18 degrees equals 4 times 1, so equals 4. So you can see in this instance to get x alone, you're going to be dividing by cosine of 18. So x would equal 4 divided by cosine of 18. Um, and that's about 4.2. Okay. All right. Um, 